Yeah, knows everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah, all knowing, yeah, yeah. right? Now, if the creator is all knowing, yeah. that means he knows all of the time, past, present, future for us. For him, for the creator, there is no past, present, and future. Yeah. So he knows me and you. Yeah. So whenever he send the guidance, he send it in a way that will cater for all the time. Therefore, when we look at the Quran, you will find not a single thing not applicable. Everything is applicable. Okay. Another, for example, another issue I have. Okay. Do you want me to give you some example? No, I'll tell you what, another issue I have with this, with creator and stuff like that. Why then, for instance, you some people they will work hard, do things correctly, follow what you say, but they don't get the benefits of what other people say for instance my man here he gets the job he gets the promotion yes he gets the money mm. i know his money is not everything but he gets everything he can support his family more yet you could go over this side of the road this man here he does exactly the same with this other man does yet he's get his bills he gets no job he goes for interview he gets nothing he's struggling this and that do you understand i agree so so sometimes i feel like why is there some people are blessed more mm. than other and some people? others? No, no. Very good question. So, in order to understand that, we have to understand the concept of Islam, and that will make sense. Okay. So, what we believe that in this life is a test. So, God created it. The purpose of our life is to test us, and test is through Allah will test you uh, differently by different means. Okay. So Allah will give you someone's more money to see whether he contribute to the poor someone Allah will make poor to see whether if he can handle do have it. some handle yeah, it yeah, right yeah. and steadfast with whatever he have now Allah said there will be another day which is the day of judgment yeah. and then we have paradise and hellfire now anything let's say there are injustice committed against you and you didn't get justice in this world Allah said everything will be repaid back so now we're talking about a very short period of time in this world compared to the world eternity yeah. now allah is saying can you be steadfast on the shortest time this life is will be soon over finish so you have to be steadfast now. and then eternal life which is the longer life okay. so you don't want to sacrifice the eternal life for the for temporal the enjoyment okay. of this life right now but I can't. No, the question is. I can't. Can you now? My question to you. Without hereafter, can we have absolute justice? Can you, like everybody, look at everyone in the universe? Can everybody get be rewarded for all the good things they do? No, and, no, 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 no. Right. That means if you don't have the hereafter, the world is make no sense. Simple as that. Now Allah saying how now we need to believe how do we need to believe in hereafter this is a big question yeah I, how, no why, exactly how, how do we know we exactly. don't know I don't want to have struggles okay. for okay. my life and have nothing okay. after so basically how old are you now my brother 40 40 in 50 years ago you did not existed in the no. scene of this universe so you were non-existent in 50 years ago from 50 years ago then you Allah makes you into existence right so non-existent to existent, right? Correct. Yes. Once you die, you will be again non-existent, right? Means you will be disintegrate. You will be nowhere in the scene. Now you have to. Allah has already done the process from yes. non-existent to existent. So you have to believe the same process again. You already witness from non-existent to existent. So Allah is telling. Doesn't not. He's not asking you to believe something new. He is asking you to believe something you already witnessed. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, Islamic belief is reasonable, logical, and then is supported by the claims. You know those claims? Yeah. The miracles. When prophets perform miracle, where does the miracle come from? Where? When Moses parted the sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or when they broke fish and wine or something. Yeah? We don't believe, you know, Jesus turned water into wine. No. no? But we believe there are miracles mentioned in the Quran, we believe those. Like, okay. he gave life to death, yeah. he healed the leper, yeah, yeah. cured the blind. Yeah. These are mentioned. Okay. We believe on those. But we believe these, Allah 
this is the through the power of Allah. Okay. Why? So that the community can understand that these are the messenger of God. Yeah. And then they informed all people, this life is short. And once you die, you will face your Lord. God send you with a purpose. The purpose is acknowledge him, worship him alone, and do not give the share of worship to anybody else. This was the same message given to given by all prophet to all community, and the message is intact by memorization. Why do we have many? Why do then you believe Allah is this Jesus? They, some the Christians believe that Jesus is this. You have other other religions. They believe this. They believe that. Why multiple? If there is just one, mm. why then can't everybody accept? There is just the one, and this is who it is. Why did it need to be, oh, Allah is this, uh, uh, Jesus is this, this is the Son of God, there is no Son of God. If it was all, if it, religion it was all the one for everybody, why do we have multiple religions? Why does Correct. this... Good question. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, so when we look at how many shops here? Yeah. 10, 15 different yeah. shops. So whenever you buy any product, yes. do you normally buy it on the first go? or you look into, yeah, yes, yes. you compare and contrast. So you evaluate. Yes. The same way, God given you this rational faculty. He endowed with you reason. Do you believe you have reason? Yes, that's what separates us from animals. Yeah? Correct. Beautifully said, my brother, beautifully said. Now, God given endowed with the reason. Do you think the same God will reveal a religion which make no sense to you? No, it needs to make sense, no? Makes sense. Now, your homework would be, Put Islam in one page, Christianity in one page, and all other faith in one page. Look at each of their belief. Which one make more sense? The Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is one and unique, he's unlike creation. He doesn't have a father, neither has a son, and there is nothing like him. Any rational human being would say, look, I agree with this concept of creed. Look, come to Christianity. God is all-knowing, all-powerful, all-seeing. Can Jesus all powerful, all seeing and all knowing? Simply not. The man who eat food, God, does he eat food? No. So therefore, can both of them religion same? No. So now, you, I've just demonstrated you in one minute why Islam gives you true religion, true understanding. Now if you, why we identify God in first place? Do you know why? So that we worship in correct direction. But why do I need to live in a life that I need to worship? Uh, okay, I've been given life. Yeah. Why do I need to prove myself and life to have for in this life? For instance, I, I would say, for instance, right? You talk about different religions. Yeah. You yeah. said to me, Jesus. That's but do you agree? First of all, I know. I what you said makes point. So no. you just said to me, okay, Jesus can't be all eighteen, all seeing, plus God yeah. can't be the same. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whether he was born in his creation or not, yeah. Allah is this and that. Yeah? yeah. Now let's just go back for the very first one. Yeah. The Bible was written X amount of years ago, yeah? How can I, or the Quran was written, I don't know how long, maybe a bit more newer, yes? Or not? I don't know whether it was longer or newer, yeah? But how can I believe, how should I, why should I believe a book that was written before you was alive? So you don't know if that is correct, what was written. You can't tell me, yes, good I question, saw Good question, good question. So a long, it's like this, if I told this person something, and I lived, if we lived a hundred years ago and I told him something, then he tells the next person something. I told him, listen, the shop was green. He might then tell this person the shop was green and white. Then it gets passed on, yes? So it goes along the line. I can't know whether the, the, the how do you know it is correct? Okay, fine, yes. good question. So we believe Quran is the last and final book revealed yes. by God himself. Yes. Two, Muhammad peace be upon him and Muhammad peace be upon him passed on to the whole mankind. Yes. This is the only book and only religion has the only, the, their book is fully preserved. Okay. You will find many different Bible, okay, yes. but you will not find many different okay. Quran. Why Everything is that? Is same. Do you know why? Why? Because God himself said, he will make sure this will be preserved for you, me and everyone. Do you know why? Because so that you and me and everyone else on the day of judgment, we will have no excuse. If we have a corrupted guidance, we can say to God, look, we didn't have the correct guidance. Yes, yes, yes. But God has promised that he will keep the guidance intact so that we will have no excuse on the day of judgment. Okay. Now, come to the question of how this has been intactly preserved. 
this book has been memorized. So quickly tell you how. So when Angel Gabriel, just like how Moses used to receive revelations, the same way Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to receive revelation from God. And this was transmitted by Angel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel. Prophet used to memorize it. And then he is to pass down to the companion. Companion is to memorize it. Prophet asked them to recite back. And then he checked their recitation is correct. Means they memorized it correctly. Exactly the same trend happened. The, uh, the, the companion teach the following generation. The following generation teach the following generation. Now, now, we can do an examination. So you can pick a children from South Africa, one children, one from Norway. One from Indonesia, yes. one from Bangladesh, 10 different children from 10 di different, different countries. countries. Yes. Yes. And you record their whole Quran recitation, whole. They will still be the same. They will be the same. I understand. I have to catch my train. It's been but, very good talking but to you. But does it make sense why the no, importance... You, have, you, have, you, have, you spoke very good. Very good. Now, my question is, my brother, if this compelling evidence received on your heart and you know it's truth. And this is the fastest growing religion on the planet. Yes. And that message come with a rewarding message of paradise, eternal life, He's with no pain, it. and there are suffering, then we have to take this message seriously. No, I will listen. I will read the books. I, Look I, after I, yourself. I listen, it was nice talking to you. Yes, Look after you. You speak very well. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, Spoke to this brother. Uh, Alhamdulillah, um, I've clarified a few questions about believe in hereafter, and I think the concept of hereafter is not clear to him. And he asked a question about absolute justice, and I mentioned to him that absolute justice cannot be possible in this world. Not everybody will be rewarded for the, all the good things they have done, and not all the criminal will be punished for their criminal activities. So therefore, Allah will make judgment on the day of judgment so that every soul will be rewarded for the good works and and, and the punishment also be accordingly for their bad deeds and i ask allah to grant him uh, guidance and he seems sincere and he taken a good message and uh, i hope uh, inshallah allah allah guide him to islam assalamu alaikum